Hey everybody, I'm going to show you some tips for using my new favorite tool called Canva. I've done all kinds of things and I'm preparing a post about neat things. Now I just clicked Facebook cover because I want to make a Facebook cover um, and it's going to load it right here. Now one thing I want to point out while I'm waiting is that you can use custom dimensions. A lot of the um, uh, themes that you buy on WordPress will tell you that you need certain dimensions for certain things and this can be really hard to do. So you can come in here and you can click and use custom dimensions. Now you're going to see that I actually um, did some custom dimensions and some things for my blog uh, to redesign the header for my blog using this custom dimensions feature. Um, and I was really impressed. Now the one thing I'll say on this before we get to a blank design is it was a little tricky to make sure everything was lined up. So I'm not showing it full screen right now. but you do have to go maximize it, make it really full screen, and there are some tools to help you keep things lined up, um, but they're a little harder to see when it's smaller. So if you have a long graphic like this, sometimes you may have to make it go really big screen to try to get that. You can't really hide this over here, and, and for lining up graphics, it would be nice if you could. And if I wanted to make other banners of this type, I could just click Add New Page, which is really cool. So let's go to our untitled design here that's been working. And what you do is you look over here and it's got some pre-done um, ideas. Now when you put your mouse over, if it costs any money, it's going to say like a dollar. Um, if it's going to cost you anything. Um, and I think I'm going to pause this for a second so I can pick out which thing I want for my Facebook fan page that needs an uplift. Okay, so that took me a little bit of time. Um, there's all kinds of options down here at the bottom for photos and things, but I'm not going to use a ton of photos. There's so many options. It's just crazy. It would be great for a school to uh, use some of those options, but I've decided I'm just going to go with a look of what's already there. So I'm going to drag this shoe uh, image over um, to, the, um, to the canvas here. And um, you can see that all of these are images. It says Canva on it, that if I use this particular, that I would, um, I would pay um, a dollar for each of these, which I don't mind paying if it's a really good photo, but I'm not a shoe person. Now, don't, don't go delete these because leave them here for a reason. Um, we're gonna go to Uploads, and this is where I've uploaded a lot of different things uh, as I've been preparing for my identity graphics. Um, I'm going to pause for just a second and make sure I have all the photos I need. Um, and to do that, I'm just going to hit Upload Your Own Images. You can also drag them. You can also search for their images too, but I'm going to click Upload and do that. And, uh, and put it on pause so you don't have to watch me go through my too many photos and figure out which ones I want to use. Okay, so now I have got these photos in here, and um, I am going to show you how to drag a photo in. So I'm going to grab this and wherever I point it over it just throws it in there now it may just kind of put it in there in a place or a way that I don't want it in there um, let me put this I'm gonna put a fun shot kind of as the middle so when I come in here I can click on crop and there are also all kinds of filters um, but I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here um, this was taken in a spring break recently and one of the things about technology is a lot of times people think that um, there's a lack of balance that you get. And so when you teach technology, you really have to encourage digital health and wellness and that um, you have balance in your life. And so getting outdoors is really kind of a part of my life. Um, I might come back and usually you don't want to do photos dead center. I'll show a little splash of water in the peace sign there. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take these photos that I've got and um, put them in there. Um, not sure which. I definitely have to use my book coming out. So I'm dragging and putting that in there. Probably crop it a little bit just to get it um, like it needs to be. Um, sometimes it's easy to get out of proportion if you're not careful. So I'm not quite sure what it's doing right here. It hasn't done that before, probably because I'm screen casting at the same time. Um, so I'm going to work on this. I'm going to add a professional photo over here, and I'll be right back to show you how to um, add some words and such. Now this is when I can do all kinds of editing, and you click on this. You can change the font. Make sure you highlight it. Change the font. Change the size. I do want to point this out right here. Uh, I may not use this particular text, but this is important. 
um, you get these predefined colors and um, you don't have to use those. You can hit plus and then you type in your, your color code. Now I use Color Schemer online. If you just Google Color Schemer online you should find it uh, to kind of do my palette matching but I have uh, certain numbers call them hex numbers from my blog so that's the, my favorite color blue right there um, so that is the color I'm changing it to now it'll remember it for this as long as I'm doing this um, it won't take it between jobs which would be kinda nice but that's okay um, so you can kinda edit the text um, the other thing you can do is, is anything you want you can hit the down arrow here and you can kind of play with alignment and copy stuff and that sort of thing you can also trash can it and get rid of it um, like I'm going to do this little piece here and shoe, I'm getting rid of shoe um, because I'm going to take my, um, I did a blog graphic in here the top of my blog and I kind of want to see if I, I don't want it to go on there I want it to be down here so I've kind of got it down here, it didn't insert it, no don't do that it may be a little bit of a challenge to get it to do what I want it to do um, and I'm going to play with this a little bit and see, I think I've got it under control. Um, it keeps trying to put it in the little thing there. There we go. I don't want to have to go off the screen here, but I'm going to play with this a little bit and see what I can do. You can see that it's long, you know, it's so automatic that sometimes it will do things you don't want to do, like when you want to put a picture on top. Come on, let's get it there. Okay, so I'm just going to play with this here um, a little bit and get it exactly where I want it um, to kind of have it um, consistent. So this is kind of a little hack. I found as long as my move arrow is over these, these black lines here, which I guess are a, sort of a position, it, it will be happy with me. So I'll just click here and then when I get over the line it lets me move it over just a little bit. So that's just what I'm going to keep doing until I get this right where I want it. Um, it's not, you know, it's not Photoshop, but it is a really cool little tool um, that you can use. And there's all kinds of graphics. I do want to show you the text. There's all kinds of graphics you can get um, that you can you can throw on here. Um, I do have a podcast, uh, Every Classroom Matters, that I kind of want to have on here somehow. So I'm going to look and see um, what I want to do. I did have a, a, a ranking for every classroom matters but and that could give me social credit but I really think it's probably more important to kind of show me as a is a more professional and then more of a personal kind of fun my book is definitely important um, and um, I'm gonna find something over here that that I like I don't know quite what yet but I will pause it and come right back to you so I think I'm going to work with this little graphic here uh, to show my podcast. We're redesigning um, the um, the logo for it. Um, so, but I've got a little transparency there. I think that I can go in here and pull in my BAM Radio logo and let's see how that looks. If it's going to fit or if I'm going to have to do some work. I am going to have to crop some, it looks. Now, the only thing about cropping is that if... <laughs> It won't let you have a blank spot in there. So see, I actually can't crop the spam radius. This is not a good fit here. Um, you have to, it has to fit, and that was why I was having trouble over here. So sometimes you, you might have to actually take a graphic and add a little space at the end. Um, so that is not going to work. Uh, we'll see what I can find here. Okay, and I want you to have a little experience um, messing with text. So um, check out every classroom matters and I'm probably going to just try to put the BAM radio logo there I'm going to drag this and make it smaller do 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 I'm going to change this color of course it doesn't fit with the color palette that I've kind of determined that I'm going to do that's really small it's going to be a lot bigger when um, when I'm um, looking at it on Facebook and sometimes you know if I could make this go full screen you could see a little bit better um, uh, how it was lined up but I'm doing it so I could screencast it it would be a good res here for you um, so I'm gonna type in another color uh, let me see what color I want to use here um, I may pause this to mess with colors here I haven't labeled them very well there we go now you can see that I, I double clicked the text 
and you can see the text thing and then the box behind it come up. So this is text, this is the box behind it. And uh, I can um, add some colors. It also remembers the other colors. So I could say, huh, do I want it in blue? And then you got to click somewhere else to see if you want it in blue. Um, and you can kind of play with it a little bit. Now let's just pretend I'm done. I'm not sure that I'm done because I always am playing and tweaking with things, but I do want to go ahead and share this out today. So I'm going to come up here to link and publish. Now I haven't used any Canva images. If I do, it'll ask for my credit card information and will ask me, you know, put a dollar. Now for those of us who have been blogging for a while, a lot of us use stock photo services and pay for those and you'll end up paying for a good photo about a dollar maybe sometimes a little more so I don't mind paying I mean the thing I like about it is I don't have to go to the stock photo service export it pull it in and go back and forth and back and forth you can literally see it in here and you don't have to pay for it until you use it now this has gone down here to my uh, to a folder um, I put everything in Dropbox a little junk folder and before you use it anywhere um, you always you know, I don't think that Facebook cares so much about the titles, but um, when you upload stuff to your blog, there's something called SEO or search engine optimization and, that matters. And um, you want to um, make sure you have things named well um, or named appropriately according to what you want to have found. So I'm going to right click and rename this. And I've got a cat problem, so I'm going to pause, of course, school cat. So I'm not going to talk too much about how to update things, but if you have a page, all you have to do is come in here and then there will be a little thing that says change cover. And then you can just upload a photo um, that you want to upload and then your Facebook cover is changed. And I hope you enjoy Canva. It's a great tool um, and uh, just really kind of a neat um, thing that, that can really um, help a lot of us. It's kind of like a Keurig for... Um, for graphics and then when I see it I can say okay do I like it or not and for now I'm just gonna leave it I've got work to do I've obviously got to fix some alignment I'm gonna do that here offline in a minute but you can basically see that I just did a quick little change to my Facebook page and it worked pretty well hope this helped